Um, I have a little pencil box that I keep my chunks in. And again, they're already pre-labeled. These labels are the one thing that if I had to invest in something in the portal, I would buy these labels. They have your name, your contact information, because you may, add, I usually add a sample to every package, but you may find that someone wants to know how to reorder something or they tried something to their friends. It's always great to have information, even on my testers. I sometimes will leave testers in bathrooms at the vendor shows for people to do mini mannings, etc. Um, we had a posh event in Erie where one of the girls left behind a big fat yummy hand cream it wasn't on my team, it was on someone else's team and they didn't have their name on it so we didn't know whose hand cream it was. Um, so always keep your contact information on your product. I try to do posh as economically as possible. I do not like plastic tablecloths nor do I like using um, sheets for my vendor shows. I think that it for me personally doesn't look the greatest. I like, I invested in uh, black tablecloths from Kmart. They were $11 originally, I think I got them for $9, and they're very nice and sleek. I have a posh tablecloth that says po perfectly posh on it, was $35. It's just a little square tablecloth, so I put that over the center to make it look elegant so people know that I'm perfectly posh. Um, if you have a random uh, rolled up in a ball tablecloth, that drives me crazy. Um, but you can do that. I found these, if you're trying to be economical, I was, these little, um, these are flannel tablecloths, and these were two bucks at Rite Aid, so I bought three of them, in case I do like an outdoor event and I don't want things to get wet, so they're like a flannel backed, like an outdoor tablecloth, but I found these for two dollars in the dollar bin at Rite Aid. Um, I was going to the dollar store and getting this plastic pink polka dotted, like zebra printed, tablecloths but I found when I go to vendor shows a lot of pink zebra um, a lot of pink zebra ladies would have the same tablecloths and I found that people were drawn to a more professional um, table so definitely invest in the black tablecloths I bought them last fall I use them all the time and unlike the dollar store tablecloths which I'd have to keep buying I got my money back already out of them so I wasn't wasting tablecloths so that's one thing um, when you get a polka dotted guide, read your polka dotted guide. This is like your um, directions for everything. And I like to buy polka dot guides and give them out to potential team members. Of course, you can see I put my information on it. This is going to talk to you about how you can promote if that's what you think you'd like to do. Uh, monthly awards. I only received five monthly awards last year. I was about a thousand or yeah, about $1,000 short and one recruit short of getting the six months and I didn't want to just put in a $1,000 order and put it on my credit card or just sign up a random family member just because. But when you do get the monthly award, you get this really awesome pin. So it talks about how you get the uh, monthly award, how you get posh points. I've been saving my posh points for a Fitbit. Posh points are different than the perks. Perks are what you use to buy product or like t-shirts like I have on. Um, you can buy business tools, etc. A lot of times I will use my perks to buy all my labels so my business tools end up being free. Um, from the container family, I also bought these little baggies. These are awesome to take a whole bunch of little Lacons if you do like a mini Manny and you want to put a scrub, a chunk, and a hand cream in there. If these are empty, but you get the idea. I have black ones and pink ones, and I also will send these out pre-made for portable parties if someone has an exact count on who they want um, to come to their party or who is RSVP, they get one of these pre-made packages, and I usually just send them out in bulk to the, to the person, especially if they're out of town, um, something to make it special. Facebook parties, I always try to do a live event or do a video, that's just one thing I like to do. Um, what else can we talk about? Oh. My Boss Lady Cup, so I usually keep all my skin sticks um, of some sort, whoops, I guess you can't see, skin sticks in my um, bathroom for people to be able to use. Um, I love this one, this one's empty, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it now it's empty, I just don't want to get rid of it. I have a lot of empty Posh containers and I save them. So one of the things that you'll see is this product is no longer Castaway Coconut Skin Delicious. Um, but I've turned it into 
a little hairband holder for my daughter. It sits on my counter, so it's still branding. It's still posh. In my bathroom, I have a little posh bag. I think I bought these on clearance last year for 31 I keep a whole bunch of these little bags. I have fish ones and turtle ones and all kinds of frog ones, whatever they get rid of for like three, five dollars. Um, when I have open houses, I let people carry one of these around and fill it up for their uh, purchases. It's a lot easier than when they hold it in their hand because they don't realize what they're throwing in their cart and they end up purchasing more. But I keep product for um, people to, to use. I need to use this. This is my premier bath bomb, a gift from Nicole, um, my direct upline. And if you're in team, poke it out of posh then she would be right above me and she is our premiere for our team she is um, the gold premiere so um, soon to be platinum I hope a pop star if you have someone that has a headache they can add some of this to their body and love me do if you haven't tried this I love to put just a little bit of this on my cheeks and I like to um, my husband likes to use it for his beard oil we've been using this since February and we've hardly used any but we use it pretty much every day. Uh, at least I use it every day. He uses it probably every other day to tame his beard. Um, I guess that's it for branding. I really like to have these little signs. These are on the portal for a quarter, um, not that long ago, and they've come back every now and again. They're just little pop-up signs. Some of them are obsolete on the one side, but I just keep these up in my bathroom or around my house because um, I just really love that we are made in the United States. So. Um, oh, I'm going to show off my bag that Cheryl made me. It's pretty sad looking right now. It's not organized. So, Cheryl made me this awesome polka dot bag with my name on it. I use it to put samples in if I'm going out somewhere. I have our About Posh, About Our Perks, and it has samples in it. And currently, I've been trying to use up a lot of my catalogs and supplies, so I have all of these line brochures I've been using up, so it's pretty sad looking right now. I like to get my kids involved in Posh, so I pay my son to put labels on my Lacon, so if someone will call up and ask for something that I don't have a pre-made sample for, I can just throw it in there, throw a label on the top, and I'm good to go. Um, for some reason, I have a ton of these key lime pie. I think they gave us like three packs when we were in Tampa, and... Um, Catalog. So that's the, I guess, two more things I want to talk about. Catalogs and Posh Cash. And then I'll be done chatting. We'll wash off the face. So you should be able to see that this is starting to dry. And you can see your pores get yucky. All that stuff's come to the surface. I'm hoping it pulls lots of stuff. Maybe it pulls some toxins out of the ear area as well. Um, make sure you don't make promises in our Posh that you can't keep. We are a pampering company, we are not a laundry company, so you don't want to tell people that this is going to be a miracle cleanser for your laundry or a miracle wash for your dog. Um, it's not going to cure um, any diseases, etc. So we got to make sure we're careful about that. I like to take a picture of this in the back of our catalog. I have it in a frame. If you're still waiting for your kit, um, you'll probably end up getting the new kit, which will be even more awesome. I'm a little bit envious because you're going to get a lot more product than I'm going to get right off the bat. But I took a picture of this, of me recreating this kale face, and that was a big hit, so I ended up selling a lot of kale face because of that. Catalogs. At this point, I'm handing these catalog, cat, ugh, sorry, catalogs out like water, so I'm constantly handing them out to everybody. I see if I'm in a doctor's office, I'm leaving catalogs behind. Um, I usually put on the back, like, let's have a party, or if I'm sending these out in team recruiting packets, uh, let's set up a party, how about a launch party, question mark, etc. in this little area. Um, these do fold and you can just put a stamp on it and send it. I usually fold these and put them in a manila envelope. I use it kind of as padding and put my samples down inside this little pocket that it makes. You can tear these apart and make envelopes. You can tear these apart and make bags at this point with these newer ones. And they're, they're the current ones until, so, there we go, I can't even talk, sorry, July 29th. I usually keep these. I do have one somewhere laying around. Maybe I did break them. It's from like last season. So those ones I may tear up a little bit. Um, these ones I hand out because at this point they can still purchase most of these products or I have them in stock. So I love our posh cards. I love our catalogs. Anne is a 
graphic designer and she used to work for Sensi and so she has a really awesome graphic design um, touch to everything that she does with Posh. So that's why we have these awesome recyclable catalogs. Everything with Posh is recyclable, reusable, everything's made in the USA. California for all of our products except for our chunks, our chunks are made in Vermont. So that's a key note. Um, so with these, I'll write a little message on like, this catalog's retiring, but here's what you do if you'd like a sample and to get a new catalog, like contact me or something. Usually it's to make something that rhymes. Um, like, if you would like a new catalog and a sample, contact me and I'll send one to you or something along that line. So, I usually write that on here. I circle the perks. Um, circle about perks. Uh, and I'll write a little message. Or, if I'm sending this out to someone specific, I will highlight my favorite things. Jeremy loves the, um, the Cuban lip scrub. I happen to love all things snarky, and I love gender bender, so I'll probably put a star by gender bender. Um, Moisture 911 is something I use every day, so I put stars by the things I use every day. I usually include my routine, which includes caffeinator in the morning, um, Moisture 911, the, uh, the little oil that all of my love, uh, love me do, and BFF, because those are my things for the day. And I always use gender bender, so. I uh, usually you probably put little marks next to those with my top five. I usually put like one through ten and then put stars. It makes it a little bit more personalized. If you have someone that you know loves tropical scents, circle it and say, this is for you, it's tropical scented, etc. Posh cash. Okay. So you can use these many ways. I use these for um, if I'm doing fundraisers. I'll give out Posh Cash because if people never redeem them, I'm not out anything. As opposed to if I give out product and I never hear back from the person, I don't even know who won. I like to hand out the Posh Cash. Usually I put a few samples in or maybe a small product like a BFF. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream. Um, and this I would put my Posh little label sticker on. And then I usually put a number on them, 1 through 500, etc. I keep a list. And at the bottom I put redeemed by. And if it's for a fundraiser, I'll usually do like three or four months. And I put a catalog in there. If I know the catalog is going to be retiring, I'll usually put like good, like say if I'm doing it this month, I'll put like good August 1st through December or whatever. Because I know a new catalogs coming out and it's going to last that long. Um, Hostess have two choices with me. They can pick $25 in Posh Cash. So I fan it out and put their name on it. So they can pick $25 in Posh Cash or they can pick $25 worth of product. Um, and I usually already have the product pre-picked and they can pick between the two things I have laid out for them. Um, the other thing is right now for June and July everyone that's spent $25 has gotten five for every $25 they spend they get a $5 posh cash to use towards a new catalog in the month of August hoping to kick up August sales uh, July is a little bit slower because we're running lower on some of the favorite products but it is a good time to push uh, if you know someone has a favorite product push them to get it now because it, as time goes on it's going to uh, end up going away and you're not going to be able to get that product for them or stock up for things that you know you're going to sell frequently BFF Usually everyone buys it every two to three months, so I usually keep it in stock. But if someone buys it this month, they aren't going to buy it for two to three months, and that's okay. I just keep it in stock, uh, especially if it goes on sale. And if I consider the buy five, get the six free. I always put the like items together. So if I'm, I may have to do three or four orders. If I am um, doing nine dollar items, and I'm doing. Um, $18, $20 items, I usually separate out my orders. That way I'm getting the free item, the best deal, even though I have to pay $5 again. One, I'm getting a catalog and a sample for free, but I'm also going to um, be able to get the most bang for my money. Now you can see I'm a little bit red. Um, With the cackle spackle and the um, stripper, you may notice that your pores stay a little darker. But if I have my BFF, that's why I usually would wash with BFF afterwards. And this side is so sensitive, so I'm being extra gentle. Um, 